Peace to you and yours, wherever you may be. I love you continually for free. And uh, I just want to show this uh, plant right here. This is a honeysuckle. And um, when I was a little kid, this used to be, I mean, just pretty much everywhere. Honeysuckle was growing everywhere. I don't see it that much anymore. And I don't have very much growing. I see some over there, uh, a little over here. But, you know, it used to be like if you see a stand of it, like, like this right here, like all of that would be full of honeysuckle flowers. And what we used to do, we would pull the whole flower off. But since I'm doing this one-handed, I'm just going to show you these little stamens. Hopefully, they'll come out without pulling the flower off. No, it didn't do it. I guess that's the reason why we used to pull the whole flower off. But you pull the flower off, and then those stamens that I pulled out of there, you you gently get them to come out and I'm sorry I can't do it one-handed you get you get that to come out of there and then it's got a sweetness on it a sweet sap on it and you we would just eat that off of there or lick that off of there so that's honeysuckle some of y'all might know about that probably a lot of y'all don't but really what I really wanted to show I just got through cutting cutting my field. What I really want to show is uh, these elderberries. Now this has to do with the common elderberry that's found here. Now, I don't know all the different types of elderberry. If you look at the top up there, you'll see flowers. That's the elderberry flower. And you can make tea out of that. And, you know, uh, that's kind of a late blooming situation going on right there. But this is the extra ripe elderberries. And you generally don't see this many in one place. Now, I was on the tractor. It looked fuller than this. Fuller and, 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 uh, and blacker than this. But here is the tricky part about elderberry. Now you see, some of them are green, some of them are red, and some of them are black, okay? Oh, and that is the dreaded leaf-legged bug. I hate them. I hate them. Very hard to control that naturally. Uh, I wish I had an example up there. I'll make another video later to show you what their egg sacs look like. It looks like a little line of dots. You know, when you see that, squish it anywhere. Get rid of it. They'll drop that little line of dots. And then the the uh, when they hatch, the nymphs look like these little red things. They don't look anything like the adults. They have like three very distinct uh, uh, changes that they make before they get before they get to this. And this rascal here can fly, you know, and uh they do a lot of damage to, to your vegetables. It's hell when you got them. But anyway, back to this. Some of them are green, some of them are, are red, and some of them are black. And look how small they are. Now, the black one is the ripe one with this variety. That's the one you want to make your syrup out of. The green one will give you, show sure enough, give you diarrhea. The red one might give you diarrhea so can you imagine if you pick this what you'd have to go through to try to separate look at this one i mean that's almost 50 50. plenty of black there but and and you see when i grab that thing that thing is just a little bit bigger than a bb gun i mean a bb about the size of a pellet can you imagine having to process that effectively process that that's a lot of work <laughs> that is a lot of work for for a little bit of a benefit now this one right here you could probably just go ahead on and just yam all that up go ahead on hit that green one too what the heck 
you know, forgive you a little diarrhea, that ain't no big deal. But that to me would be a, a little bit too much green. You know, it'd probably be a goose. Anyway, this is what I meant when I was talking in the other video about the birds will hit you. The birds get them as they are turning, you know, right. And it's hard. Everything that you see on here is probably picked, uh, that's missing, is probably picked by birds. And, and uh, you know, they built for it. You know, they little. The bird itself is little, so it doesn't need that much. And uh, it's got that little bitty pointy beak. So if you got a different type of elderberry growing in your area that has a wider range of ripeness, I sure would like to hear about it. Uh, see it. See a little video on it. Anyway, love you for free. I tell you, Ali, wherever you may be.